puni pa sama ve one pa sama ve a kano yon wa no por medio de ayahuasca tengo que ver los diagnósticos de cada paciente Pukushama niwe hao masashi na niwe hao ndrata niwe o hao ndrake niwe tsama kutia nwa komu kurandere shon ha niwe bo kuyo nong tsuka hontea Las plantas maestras y la ayahuasca nos enseñan nos abre la vida, el conocimiento. So the idea is that you're going to learn directly from these plants. In your dreams, in your thoughts, in your feelings, it's a channeling of plant medicine energies. The Shipibo lineage, what they're doing is what, as they die at the plant, they're singing their ikaros, which are the healing songs from the energy of the plant. And it's very commonly experienced by the people that come here. They realize, oh my God, I thought it was going to be about the ayahuasca. I thought it was going to be about this. It's about the song. In medical school, we're not taught about energies or about spirits. It's almost like there's a different lens that this shaman is bringing in, one that we're not necessarily seeing. Ayahuasca particularly is mind-body medicine. These systems are not separate. There's no difference in medicine, you know. There's only one medicine, the medicine that heals. These teaching plants are reaching out to us to instruct us. For its breadth and depth of healing potential, ayahuasca is far and away the greatest medicine I have ever encountered. As, as playful as it can be at times, it's a very serious commitment. This is a soul cleanser at the deepest level. It can completely cause a rip in your ego and structure and reality. So you do have to be ready to humble yourself to something that might be beyond what you have imagined thus far in your life. Yo, so,